Happy Labor Day and uh, September 1st. It's been about 30 days so I thought I would do a video update on my hair. And if anyone following these, uh, so it's been 30 days for the back here. Uh, I hate it that I can't see this. I think that's... There we go. So not able to see that there, the back, hopefully. Yeah, light on it. Just gonna try. So the back here, which was done, you know, that area is, uh, that was done about 30 days ago, so it's been one month. All the scabbing, I believe, is off now. I can still feel the prickly hair in the back that's been plugged in. Um, as far as the front year, it's been a year now. So this portion right here, it's been one year. Uh, how's that looking? I know from the front right, it looks fairly thick, especially under this lighting. Um, it's also short, you know. This front portion has been a year, it's been about 2,300 graphs. Uh, the back portion is about 1,200 graphs. So it's been so far a total of uh, 3,500 graphs. Um, on my head. If you look at my pr couple previous videos, you'll see how bald I was. Um, you can see the sides are already fully healed. I don't feel any pain. Uh, nothing at all. It feels great. As great as, you know, I'm a bunch of graphs sticking out here. You can feel. Uh, uh, I've received a few comments on my videos lately about it looking painful and bloody or something. I mean, you know, there's, there's a saying, no pain, no gain. Um, this would have to be uh, less painful, I would say, than having your cavities filled even. Um, it's really the post-op time that, I, I, you know, you got to be careful with. You want to just take it easy. If you're someone who's uh, who, who could use to break the vacation or something, then, you know, um, be something you should be looking forward to because... You can't really do much. You don't want to do much. You know. You want to make sure it heals well. Uh, you you don't want to just go out drinking and partying right away after getting the surgery done. You want to stay home. You can't even really work out, so you're really just gonna be a hermit, um, resting, relaxing. You know. Uh, yeah, you can go into work. Depending again on what kind of work you have. If you're heavy labor type of work. Um, you know, you probably want to take a lot, uh, some more time off, but if you're just sitting at a computer desk or, you know, doing paperwork or something, bossing people around, uh, again, it depends on the environment. Um, someone sent me a video the other day actually asking me a bunch of questions. It was like eight minute long, long, and uh, I don't want to say your name uh, in case you're watching this and you don't want to disclose who you are. Uh, you're welcome to post that video as a video response to any of these. Um, if you want anyone else who watches these forms or who have who who's had this transplant done answer it as well any of the questions you have um you asking me am i using minoxidil or propecia or any any things that is recommended um for you after seeing the video they're recommending it because you still have so much hair and if you balding is in your genetics and you're eventually meant to go fully bald uh, they want to use propecia and rogaine so at least you prevent further baldness, or at least it'll go away more slowly. Um, someone like me who's pretty much all bald on the top, and you can see like right here I'm bald in the front. Um, if I apply Rogaine or even if I take Propecia, this hair in the front I don't believe is gonna come back. I've tried it. I've in fact stopped using Minoxidil at this point. Uh, to me, I feel there's really no reason to. Um, uh, like I said, it. Just makes my hair sticky and stuff right now. It's, it doesn't look like it, but it's really soft and nice again. It feels really good. Um, so I, that's the reason why I don't like uh, using Propecia. I mean, Rogaine. Uh, I don't like using Propecia. I've never used it because of all the side effects I've read. Um, and then you ask me how many times can you do the surgery? You want it just in the crown. Um, you can do it multiple times. Like I've done it twice already. Uh, and that, but what it does is it thins out your donor hair, depending where they're getting the hair from. And you can get from the beard, the chest, the sides, the back. They want to take it from a place where uh, that hair is permanent, where it's, where it's not going to eventually fall out. Um, the problem with these hair transplants is, 
like one of my uncles, he, he doesn't have any donor hair. He's about 67, I would say, or 68. His side hair has gone so thin. So even if he was younger and they did this transplant on him and they took that hair and put it up here, eventually that hair is going to fall out. Um, his uh, side hair wasn't really DHT resistant, that means, as they say. Um, even this top hair that I had put in, um, it could again start thinning out in a few years um, just because it, the side hair that was taken might have not been DHT resistant. So, uh, you know, it, this may not be a permanent solution and, and that's why I'm documenting this. I want to see how well this hair is going to continue growing. Um, you know, I, I eat fairly healthy. I, I work out regularly and uh, I don't really use any harmful shampoos or soaps in my hair or anything and uh, you know, so it's really just genetics. I've seen, uh, I mean, there's probably different people dealing with different issues. Uh, for me, I, I believe it's genetics because I've seen some pretty grizzly bums or really fat people who, you know, aren't eating that healthy, um, full head of thick hair. And they use gel and different products in the hair and they never have to even worry about it. They get up to their 60s, 80s and they look fine. Not that I've followed them till they're 60 or 80, but you've seen 60, 80 year olds who don't look the healthiest and they still have full heads of hair. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, you can keep doing the surgery, but it is gonna thin out your donor hair on the sides and the back um, each time you do it, because you're taking hair literally from here and putting it up here. And so this hair is gonna be getting depleted. Um, it's something you, you you know, your only option really is is either shaving your head, keeping that donut look, or um, doing this, hair transplant. I decided to go ahead and do it because, like I said, I, I didn't know anyone personally who had it done. A lot of people were talking. I saw results online, but I saw mainly sales pitches. Uh, that's why what provoked me to even want to do these videos. So anyone else who's decided to get a hair transplant can just see someone real doing, actually going through the surgery. Um, and so now I'm just waiting to see my hair grow out and see how it, it looks when it's grown out. Can I get a decent hairstyle? Uh, is a, a lot of people have been telling me even the crown is a, one of the toughest places to fill. So now that I've just had that done and I've only done 1200 grafts to it, um, let's just see how that even looks, you know? I mean, if, uh, you can see my hairline is fairly back, but if this all grows out, and including the cro the the back here, the crown, I didn't get a decent haircut. While well, I'll be pretty satisfied and won't really need another surgery. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, so yeah, uh, leave your comments. Anything, anyone who's had a hair transplant maybe ten years ago, I'd I love to hear if uh, if any of you watch that and you've had it years ago or know anyone that has. I want to know how are the results still to it. You know. Um, I'd hate for you guys to have to wait 10 years just to see my results. So if, if, if anyone knows or has had it done, someone who's done it at least like 10 years ago, is the hair still as thick as it was when it was first done? Um, are they using supplements like minoxidil, Rogaine still, or uh, Propecia? Um, like I said, I'm not using any of that. I, I don't really want to. Uh, Rogaine, like I said, I mean, I'm putting it, I, I was putting in the crown even, I saw no results at this point so what's the point really you know maybe it'll make this hair a lot thicker stronger but i was applying it again i didn't really notice much results difference to it if anything i felt it made it worse i feel now without the rogan it's it's looking a lot better so um yours in bad lighting in my my back of my head looks pretty perfect